What up, y'all? So a few years ago, I was sitting in a cafe, and I was taking this class, so they had this reading, The Science of Mind, right, the book. And I got to page, I believe it was like 344, whatever it was, I got to this page, and I read this line that almost knocked me out of my chair. Literally, it took the wind out of me. And the line was, a passive meditation can never produce an active demonstration. I'll say that again. A passive meditation can never produce an active demonstration. Just like a painter can't sit down with all her paints, but do nothing with them and have a painting. You see, the universe is like Play-Doh. You know that stuff we used to play with with kids? You can mold it, right? The universe is waiting for us to, to tell it what to do. But the molding happens in the mind. We must get active in our meditation, and everything is a meditation. Everything is a meditation. Why it hit me so hard was I realized in those moments that for the last five years of that time, I had been just gathering information and gathering and studying and gathering and studying, but I was doing nothing with it. Now, how many guys can relate to that? How many of you guys out there are in this position where you have all this knowledge, all this wisdom, but you're doing nothing with it? It's time for you to step out on the ledge and get active in your meditation. It's time for you to get active in all of your beings and doings. Quick story. So this guy came to apprentice for the Buddha, right? And he's on the Buddha's side, and he's chilling and he's waiting. And the first person comes up to the Buddha and says, Buddha, my life is in a shambles. I don't know what to do. I mean, it's crazy. I, 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 you know, my taxes, my girlfriend, everything's messed up. And the Buddha goes, you? I want you to pull the trigger on everything. I want you to get active. I want you to act before you think. And the guy goes, Buddha, whoa, thank you so much. Yes, I'm on it. Boom, he takes off. Next guy comes up, Buddha, my life is in a shambles. My girlfriend, my taxes, everything. I don't know what to do. And the Buddha goes, you? I want you to be still and know. I want you to be a witness to your life. And the guy goes, whoa, Buddha, thank you so much, yes. Right, and he walks off, and the apprentice waits till the guy walks out, and he goes, Buddha, I don't know if I could work with you anymore. And Buddha's like, oh, really, why? And the guy goes, because you told, those dudes came up and said the same exact thing, but you told one of them one thing and another another. And the Buddha said, ice cold, too, like, ah. The Buddha said, life is about yin and yang. It is about the in-breath and the out-breath. And some people are pushed way into their yin, while others are pushed way into their yang. And I speak to them accordingly. Well, that was me. I was way in my yin. And some of you are way in your yin, and some of you are way in your yang. Wherever you are in that arena called your life, you get to get active with it. You get to mold and call in what you're calling in, because none of us don't have desires. None of us don't want anything for our life. We all want something, but we get to be active. We get to be active in our meditation. So stop waiting, step out on the ledge and get it done. This is Questions with Preston. I love you guys. I am so appreciative, so appreciative of my Facebook and, and Instagram and YouTube family. Like you guys get it in and get it out for me. I appreciate you. One love. It is going down in a beautiful major way. Please click like, subscribe, leave a comment and holla at your boy. I love you. I see your personal messages. Mm. You see, whatever you are experiencing in your life right now is a decision away from freedom. Because nothing in your life is bigger than you are. Nothing in your life can stop you unless you decide that it can.